Today we have a look at how you can create your own Evo Chrome guns in Fortnite Creative. Well, let's say a Walmart version of it. And we still have to wait until we get the real ones in Creative. But there's a cool way in how you can create your own ones with basically every gun. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. And as you can see, it's not much. It actually is not a lot. And it depends on how much you want to do with it because you can really customize this to your liking. But overall, it's not a lot. And the first thing you should start out by is using a gun that has multiple rarities and the ones that also quite line up so you can make multiple guns of them. But obviously the best guns to use are the ones that go from green to all the way up to mythic. So you can have the most range of having to upgrade your gun and you can basically create the full customizable version. But overall you can create this with any guns. There's no limitations to a particular type of gun that you have to use otherwise it will not work. It just comes down to your creativity. The first thing which is very important is that we can give up a signal if we pick up the gun that we want to evolve. And in our case we're going to use the item placer. You do not only have to use the item placer, but you need to send a signal. And as you can see, if we go down here, when item is picked up, transmit a signal. So our uncommon gun is going to be in here. For example, this could be floor loot. And uh, we just lay it down. And then if we pick it up, the challenge starts. So as you can see, the gun spawns on the floor. We pick it up and now we get the Evo Chrome upgrade. So now we need two kills until we can upgrade the gun and upgrade it to a blue one. From here on then, the process basically repeats itself. You need to make sure that you have a gun in the item grinder. So that means the second we reach our goal, which we're going to do with the item tracker, I'm going to come to it in a second, um, we can actually grant a weapon. So in the item grinder, nothing special here. You just leave all the settings they are. Um, if you can decide if you want to give extra ammo or not. I like to not give extra ammo and then we want to have grant item when receiving from channel 2 and that is actually the only channel that we need to change here make sure that we grant all the items and then we can also keep all the other items it's very important to change this setting otherwise it will uh, have clear inventory as the default uh, which then basically deletes your entire inventory which we obviously do not want if you have other guns in play the next thing that we need to set up is uh, the tracker and this one is the main heart of the whole situation and the cool thing about this one it doesn't only work with kills Sadly, it doesn't work with damage like it is with the Evo Chromes, uh, like the actual ones, but it can work with basically everything. So in this case, I have channels, but you can have eliminations, eliminated, score, whatever is in here, fish is fished, props destroyed. You can have like basically an even more customized Evo Chrome than it is in BR. Obviously, the only option that is missing is then the damage. However, in this device, you want to first of all set your own custom settings. In my case, we have channels triggered because we're going to kill a bot here. We do not have a player. If you only have players or if you only want to kill players, then you should do eliminations. However, in our case, we have channels, which in our case correlates to, you know, NPCs killed. We want two NPCs killed, the target value here. We do not want to assign it from start. It's very important, otherwise it will show up from the start, uh, which we don't want. We only want this to show up if the player actually picks up the evil chromed gun. And um, then we can have uh, show details that is basically on you. I put the tracker tile to evil chrome upgrade kills or whatever you want here in the description. Give it a little arrow or something that kind of represents an upgrade, uh, then make it the color maybe of the gun that you're upgrading to. And the channels on this one are super easy and if you do not even have like a channel here, if you only have emanations, you do not even need most of the channels. However, the one channel which you 100% need is the assignment when receiving from. This one is obviously the one if you pick up this gun over here, we're going to assign this and then the Evo Chrome journey starts. This one is also important because obviously when we have our two kills, we want to go to the next tier, which then is obviously our next tracker over here. Um, obviously now we have three kills, same thing, channels. Now we have an arrow and it's purple because we upgrade to a purple gun. And then the same thing repeats. Channel two now and channel three to, you know, keep the process going. Basically, this is like a repeatable process and you can do this how many times you ever want. However, there's one more channel here that is increment progress when receiving from. So this one is obviously the kills that we are getting. As already said, if you have eliminations, you do not need this one, but we are getting kills via the henchman here. So in our henchman, you can see when the henchman gets killed, we send on channel 500. We send on channel 500, so we can technically already put the channel 500 in here and that would work perfectly fine. However, if you want to have multiple ones, it's better to put them in triggers and then have multiple triggers trigger the single channels here. So for example, you can have it like this, where killing the henchman basically triggers the channel here and then sends a signal to the device here, which is obviously allows us to have multiple of these. So for example, if you also have animals or if you have real players, stuff like that, you, you cannot only have, like you cannot have multiple channels in here. So you can have to have like a trigger, which then triggers the uh, tracker. So we have a tracker, which triggers then a trigger. And then obviously the process goes up. And if we have enough kills, we can upgrade the gun. Pretty simple until here. And then if we reach the process, we get the gun. 
However, the only problem then is that we keep the green gun. And obviously we want to remove the green one, so we are gonna have an item remover, put the gun in here, item remove when the quest is completed, and then we can just repeat the whole process over and over again. As you can see, it is super simple. And if we start the game, you can see we get the notification, kills to upgrade, we do a kill, we get one kill on the board, kill two, we upgrade the gun, the old gun gets removed, and now we can just keep going. Three kills, and now we need one more kill to upgrade, and bang. And then for every gun that you want to keep upgrading, you just have to repeat the process over and over again. It's super simple. Make sure that you always remove the first gun, and uh, that is basically the whole thing. You do not have to repeat the uh, triggering process. Obviously, that only needs one, and uh, that's about it. It is a super simple progress, super easy to recreate, and it's highly customizable with the tracker having so many new options now, and the channel is obviously allowing you to have even more options. For example, you could have like pick up items or search for special items to upgrade the gun, stuff like that, which basically gives you your own versions of the Evo Chromes that are in BR. So with that being said, this is how you can create your own Evo guns in Fortnite Creative or the Walmart versions, and um, definitely let me know if you learned something, if you have any questions, and uh, I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye.